Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. We say we was going to do the who, what, when, where, how, how much, you know, I, all of them. And so we're going to come back here to um, Leviticus 23 to even see who the who is, right? So uh, coming all the way up here to verse 3. We're we'll talking about the who. We can get the who part over with. See right here where it says, The Lord spake to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, these are the appointed feasts of the Lord that you shall proclaim as holy convocations. They are my appointed feast. Okay, well now let's break this down a little bit. He says, the Lord spoke to Moses. See, you have to remember the story when the children of Israel was first presented with the Creator. Moses was leading them towards uh, the holy mountain where the father was there was lightning there was um, uh, storms there was a lot going on until the people got affrighted they got scared I think some of them even died because they touched the mountain or did something they, they fell onto the mountain and touched it I have to remember I can't remember exactly but they they asked and they said Moses um, please talk to the father for us and tell us what he said in other words Moses you go close find out what he said because we can't do it we we're, we're perishing we're dying trying to get close you know and so that was the agreement to Moses you know at least in the movie Moses kind of looks between them and the father and he's like torn and then the father finally says you know that's a good idea and but we know he's talking about the father and the creator is speaking to Moses and then he's what is he telling Moses he says speak to the people of Israel and say to them now this is what this is about because this is the who who is he talking to so who is the people of Israel now to make this really quick you know before we start you know pulling out verses and books and stuff you have to remember that these are living parables these events actually happened there was flesh and blood walking around that the there was two million of these people that was out there in the desert listening to you know Moses come back and tell this story you know and Moses wrote it down in his book too so this really happened but we're in 2019 and we're saying who is Israel who is Israel in 2019 because we understand those people were scattered and then we understand that we have um, been reincarnated and have been here multiple times and you have you know to where there could be Israel in any race color you know it does that that part really doesn't matter anymore okay so now here's he's talking about now I'm trying to draw this little Venn diagram thing and I wish I could saying that there are three parts here I'm gonna have to pull out the verses these twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not. All right. Now I'm gonna put this in, in in context because right here we understand that the world is broken up into three groups of people, three groups. All right. The Gentiles right here, the Samaritans right here. And the house of Israel right here now at the time of the Messiah when this was written those were the three groups and at today's time these same three groups exist you say well who are they okay now back then you have to understand who they were back then remember it was a living parable it was a demonstration of what it looks like in in the fleshly so but you have to make the switch between the spiritual meaning of this stuff now praise, praise the father we can you know we're in the third era where we can do such things well so you have Gentiles Samaritans and Israel so I'm just gonna tell you what I believe they are and you know comment let's talk about it in the comments if you if you disagree fine let's talk about it but today Israel is anybody that's calling on the Father. You know, they have you have we have different degrees. Some are calling harder than others, you know, but there's 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 this people on the planet who not only believe that a father exists, a creator exists, but they're actually in in pursuit of his pleasures, meaning they're trying to please and they're trying to, you know, be on the good on his good side, so to speak. Then there is a group of people who deny him, who say that he don't he don't exist. He ain't real. He he is some fairy tale made up stuff. He's no different than what you would watch in, you know, the Avengers or, you know, stuff like that. Right here it says, and into any city of the Samaritans. 
Now, here's where it gets a little complicated. They said, well, who are the Samaritans? The Gentiles are on one side of this pendulum swing, while it's Israel's on the other side of the pendulum swing. Samaritans are right in the middle. Samaritans are people who back then, got to understand who the Samaritans were back then. These were the other ten tribes of, of, of Israel, the, the ten tribes that went into Assyria and assimilated into that nation, still there today. These people are the Samaritans. They understand that the Father is real. However, they are, they, they are now and they were then incorporated indoctrinated they were inseminated into the culture around them into the gentile culture so it's like they started off as being israel and but they and when you look at their culture it looks gentile ish it looks like it's looking like they're gentiles so they're right there in the middle and there will be various degrees of that there will be various degrees of that back then and so that's what you have today these are people who are in the middle between um, Israel and Gentiles. Sorry you say, folks, these are our families. These are our friends, you know, especially, you, you know what I'm talking about. But notice that we, we're going to add a little, we're going to narrow it down a little bit more right here. He says, when you come into the land that I give you and reap its harvest, you shall bring the sheaf of the first fruits of the harvest to the priests. Let's let's jump over here and read it in the King James right quick. It says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When you be come into the land which I give you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priests. First we narrow it down to Israel. Now we're gonna have to narrow it down to when ye be come into the land which I give unto you. Okay, now this is what, I'm, what I think he's talking about is the reincar reincarnation of these spirits who are going to come back and dwell, and they are some of them are already back, come back and be um, incarnated into human beings like symbiotic units, like you know people talking about they got the Holy Ghost, this you know, Holy Spirit, and you know, um, which I give unto you and shall reap the harvest thereof. So that's what I believe he's talking about is the reincarnation here you know with us us as human beings are the fertile land and the spirit of of the father the holy spirit being the seed and you know and that's why we have to take care of our bodies you know and that's what i believe, believe he's talking about right here he says when ye be coming to the land which i give unto you so you know that's tied to the Holy Spirit to me when you when you have the Holy Spirit you know that's what it's always you know meant to me like I say it's hard to explain and stuff and that's you know this is pretty much the first time I'm really trying to do so out loud you guys forgive me for you know thinking feeling and believing now this is still material stuff too you got we just gotta I'm just trying to make sure we understand that we have both that we have to figure out here we can't just go by um, the materialistic and can't really just go by the material or the spiritual either you can't just concentrate on the spiritual you have to have a balance there so that narrows it down there right there that narrows it down this is who right here this is the who is, is he talking about okay now to sum this up who is it that's supposed to be keeping the feast of Pentecost who is supposed to be doing this first of all I say that out of the three groups Gentiles Samaritans and Israelites the Gentiles are those who don't recognize the father Samaritans would be those who recognize the father but are Gentilish in nature the group that I believe that he's calling out here are the Israelites which would be those that recognize the father and are obedient but I also want to point out that it does say when ye be coming to the land which I give unto you and shall reap the harvest thereof and everybody may not feel like this but let me give let me give a little part of my personal testimony back in 2015 during the jubilee year I uh, was one of the ones who did get my land back I got um, a little uh, homestead that we work out of now but at the at the beginning of it in the year 2015 the year that we got this um I was reading um, the way this said, the way this is written, and I was taking it literally. I was saying that, you know, um, I had gotten the the land, 
but I had not gotten any harvest. I had just moved there. Um, the land was going through like a circumcised circumcision period where we couldn't really eat from the trees or anything. And so I didn't really feel like um, I fell under that group. I didn't think I was um, supposed to be in that group. And this was the Feast of Tabernacles. Now, in the previous year, we had, we had um, done the Feast of Tabernacles um, um which include the booths and you know that whole that whole week-long festival but um in 2015 i decided not to and they go and to go the route of the solemn occasion and i regretted it i found out later or i realized later that you know i was supposed to be honoring the feast according to um the ones who had received the land and i realized that when you know things started uh, changing around the homestead and, and within our um, you know the way things were going for us but the thing is the next year in 2016 we picked back up the feast during it according to you know the way it says those that have have the land and have reached the harvest and it changed back and it changed back so there's a lot more to it than you know than I understand um, so like I said before this is where the Bible study comes in guys this is where we need to start learning trying to figure out what's going on so we can Try to get where we're supposed to be. All right, I'm going to close it out here, y'all. Remember, leave your comments. Give some feedback. Hermes Academy. Love you. Power, patience, continence, and faith. We teach virtues.